Hello, I am Seema and welcome to my chemistry channel. Today I just hopped in to clarify the doubt of a student who asked me in the uh, as a comment in one of the videos. The question that he asked or she asked was that when you wrote 415 kilopascals in scientific notation, you wrote it as 4.15 into 10 to the power 2 kilopascals. Is that wrong? Aren't we supposed to write 4.15 into 10 to the power 2 pascals as we have written kilos in terms of power of 10? In the question that I had solved in that video, I got 415 kilopascals as it must have been one of the steps or the answer, whatever. So I wrote it in scientific notation and in order to write it in scientific notation, what, what is scientific notation? In scientific notation, you keep only one place of the number before the decimal. Everything else should come after the decimal. And in order to do that, in order to shift the decimal, you have to multiply the, uh, the number with certain powers of 10. They may be positive or negative. In order to not change the value of the number, yet write it in a uh, you know, in the scientific notation where you have only one digit before the decimal. For example, 450 kilopascals, how will I turn it? How will I write it in scientific notation? I'm not changing it. I'm not changing the unit. The kilopascal is not uh, something that I'm doing anything about. All I'm doing is, is that I'm changing this number. I'm writing it in scientific notation. So I have this number, 415. I have to write it in scientific notation. So what do I do? My decimal 415 means 415.0, isn't it? So my decimal is here. My idea is to shift the decimal two points. I have to move the decimal from here to before one. So I have to shift it two places. In order to do that, what will I now get? I get 4.15. And what should I multiply 4.15 with in order to get 415? I should multiply it by 100. And 100 is, what is 100? It is, if I have to write in 10 to the power, 100 is 10 to the power 2. So with two zeros. So 10 to the power 2. If I multiply 4.15 by 100, I will get 415. So when I changed it, this is scientific notation. In scientific notation, we write only one digit before the uh, decimal and the rest of the number should come after the decimal and then we have to add a multiple of 10 in order to, in order to have the correct, you know, um, the correct value or the value of the number should not change. Let us assume that my number was not 415, it was 0.415. Let us assume that this was my number and I want to write it in scientific notation. If I had to write it in scientific notation now, there should be one digit before, one non-zero digit before the decimal. Here, 0 0.415 means 0 0.415. But this number should be a non-zero number. So I shift the decimal in this way to this direction. So I write it would be 4.15 and now I'll multiply it by 10 but 10 to the power of minus 1. Why? Because actually I'm dividing it by 10. So anything to the power of minus 1 means it is being divided by that number, that value of that power of 10. So it has to be divided by 10 in order to come back to the same value. So that is scientific notation. And that is what we have done here. That when you wrote 415 kilopascals is what you've asked in scientific notation. Scientific notation has nothing to do with the units. Right. And what you have confused with is that you have thought that I, by writing this 10 to the power 2, I have changed the units. Somehow you assume that the kilos and the pascals, uh, by the way, the difference between kilos and pascals is of 1000. If, if I was changing the unit, I this should have been multiplied by 10 to the power 3. Let me come to what you have understood. You have 415 kilopascals and I 415 kilopascals have to be turned to pascals. 
That is what you thought is what I have done. That is not scientific notation. That is uh, dimensional analysis. I'll tell you how. We know that one kilopascal is equal to 1000 pascals. Right? We know that one kilopascal is equal to 1000 pascals. So you can make what will be the unitary, uh, the unit factor that you will be getting. We could say therefore that one kilopascal upon 1000 pascal should be equal to 1000 pascal upon 1 kilopascal. Right? The ratio of these should be equal. Since this is equal to this, then this, up, this upon this or this upon this should be the same because they have the same value both of, and both of them should be 1. That is why this is known as the unit factor. And in dimensional analysis, when we want to change the unit of something, we use this unit factor. And how do we use the unit factor? If I have to change 415 kilopascals to pascals, what is now this time I am not I am going to pay attention to the number also because the values of pascal and kilopascals are different. But I will now have to first change the unit. In order to do that, in order, I have kilopascal in the numerator here. Let us assume this is an equation. So I have kilopascal in the numerator. I want pascal in the numerator. So I will choose that unit factor which cancels out the kilopascal but gives me pascal in the numerator. So I will multiply 415 with which has 415 kilopascals I should write here. 415 kilopascals into, I will multiply it by this unit factor. Why? Because here I have kilopascal in the denominator. So I'll say multiply by 1000 pascal upon 1 kilopascal. This will cancel out the kilopascal and the kilopascal. So now I have 415 into 1000, which means 415000 zero, zero, zero pascal. 415000 pascal is the number of pascals that 415 kilopascals is. But if I have to write this now in scientific notation, how will I do it? I should have only one digit before the decimal. So now the decimal is here. I have to move it how many places? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I write it as 4.15 into 10 to the power 5. Pascals. That would be the, if I'm writing it in Pascals, it would not be 4.15 into 10 to the power 2. It would be 4.15 into 10 to the power 5 Pascals. In scientific notation, this is the number. This is the value in Pascals and this is the value in kilopascals. So that's the difference between, you have a kind of, you uh, got confused between dimensional analysis, which is changing the units, and scientific notation. Scientific notation only takes care of the digits, the numerical, the number part. That is written in a way that you have only one, the number should be such that it should be a multiple of 10, where the number has only one digit, non-zero digit, before the, uh, before the decimal. I have made videos, separate videos on both these topics. I would encourage you to watch both of them because these both of them are such important topics and to confuse between the two uh, could be a major disaster during the exam. And that's the reason why I thought I should specially come and make this video for you. I'll take this one more example here. 253 kgs. Okay, I'm taking a very simple example. You want to write 253 kgs in grams. You have to turn, convert kilograms into grams. Again, we know that what is 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. Now, I'm doing unit, this uh, dimensional analysis first. And then we'll come to the scientific notation. So, 1 kg is 1000 grams. So, what is the unit factor that you could fall, form from this? You would form two unit factors. One would be 1 is equal to 1 kg upon 1000 grams. And the other would be that 1000 grams upon 1 kg is also, they are all equal and they are equal to 1. 
I want to convert kg to gram. So if I want gram in the numerator and I want to cancel out the kg, I will use that unit factor where kg comes in the denominator. Again, I will use this one. So I write 253 into, sorry, what, what was it, uh, the unit? It was kg. I forget writing the unit. 253 kg is into 1000 grams upon 1 kg. Now the kg and kg gets cancelled. 253 into 1000. So 253,000 grams. This is the number of grams. What have I done here? I have changed the kilograms, the value. Now if I wrote both of these in scientific notation, how would I write? Here the decimal is after 3. Now when I'm writing scientific notation, I'm not bothered about the unit. I'm only taking the number and I'm going to write it in a way where it comes as a power of 10 in such a way that only one digit, non-zero digit, comes before the decimal. So I move the decimal two places. If I move the decimal two places, I get 2.53. And since I've moved the decimal two places towards this side, that is, the actual number is bigger. And what I'm writing here is smaller. 253 is bigger than 2.53. So the power, the number of positions you move, the power will be raised, will be a positive value. So how many times have I moved it this way? Two times. So it will be 10 to the power 2, which is 100. So if I multiply 2.53 by 100, I will get 253. So scientific notation is only a way of writing the number in the scientific uh, manner because that makes the calculations easier instead of having large numbers like this if you every number is like this the 10 the powers of tens become easy to cancel out or to multiply and it is only this part which has to be multiplied or whatever div divided or subtracted or added like you have to do mathematical operations for numbers which are smaller so it just is a method to make our calculations easier now, if this is the scientific notation for uh, this, how would I write it? This would be kg. So the same amount, 253 kgs will be how many grams? If I have to write this in scientific notation in grams, I will now, I have the decimal here. I'm moving it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So I write 2.53, again writing zeros after decimal. When it ends in zeros, they, the zeros mean nothing. So you can avoid writing them. It will be 2.53 into 10 to the power 5 grams. This is scientific notation. And what we did here was the dimensional analysis conversion of the units. So they are absolutely different things. So I will be going back to your comment and I'll be giving you, uh, I mean, I'll be pasting a link of this video for you especially. And for anyone who may find this helpful or anyone who gets confused between the two. So with this, I'll wind up the video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.